Come along with me to design a thumbnail for a video about digging up hard drives. Oh, we got one. Now, because I buried these drives for almost a year, I'm thinking about doing a thumbnail, something like this. So first things first, we need to take a photo. And all right, that should do the trick. Now to turn this into an actual thumbnail, I like to use Affinity and a macro pad to help speed up the process. This specifically is the Framer Creator Micro, which I filled up with a ton of shortcuts for my workflow. First and foremost, let's add some text. All right, with the text set, let's add a gradient in the background to make it pop. We'll add a rectangle, fill it with a gradient, change the opacity, and move it to the background. Nice. Let's go ahead and bump up the saturation a bit. What do you think about this being red instead of white? Let's give that a shot. Do we think that's any better? We can take a look back at where we started, and this is by far my favorite shortcut on the micro. Mapping the rotary dial to undo is so satisfying. And I'd say compared to this, our changes are pretty solid. And I do love this shortcut as well, a single button alt tab. If we go over to the mapping software, you can see we can customize every single button on the micro, including the eight directional radial menu. And I personally found actions being most powerful where you can string together multiple shortcuts. And the fact the Pro version is completely wireless is honestly just super cool. So if you want to learn more about the Framer Creator Micro, I'll leave some information about it on my profile and you should check it out. Honestly, I've been following this Work Louder company for like a long time on social media and it's really cool to see their products finally coming to fruition.